The Lagos State Government and Transportation Stakeholders, which includes the National Union of Road Transport Workers and the Road Transport Employee Employers Association of Nigeria. On Tuesday, January 18, 2021, introduced and signed a consolidated levy of 800 Naira daily for transporters in the informal transport sector in the state. The harmonized levy, which is outside the normal statutory dues collected by these unions, was introduced in order not to overburden transporters with exorbitant levies. This was made known by the state Lagos State Commissioner for Finance, Dr. Rabiu Olowo, who at the signing ceremony and ticket unveiling at Ikeja said that there was a need for the harmonized levy. Olowo said that the consolidated 800 Naira levy, which will take effect from February 1, was a phased approach to ensure the transport sector reform. According to the news agency of Nigeria, Olowo said the state government carried out a survey six months ago and as such realized that an average transporter paid 3,000 Naira daily as levies. He noted that most of these daily payments made by transporters is lost to unknown agents. Therefore, the need to regulate the levies and sanitize the informal transportation sector. Although we added that the reform in the transport sector would help to get a comprehensive database of transporters for better planning. Olowo said that the consolidated levy was an agreement by the Lagos State Government, local government, NUT, the RW and RT, and all the parties in the MDAs. The commissioner said that the benefits of the consolidated levy included harmonized collection process by putting a structure in place, reducing multiple taxes, dues and levies by all agents of state and local governments. He said the harmonized levy would eradicate harassment of bus drivers and ensure collaborative engagement among stakeholders. Speaking at the event, the chairman of the NURT, NURTW Alhaji Muslim Akinsoya said that NURTW and RT agreed with policies that would ensure the development of Lagos State. However, noted that the 800 Naira consolidated levy would not hinder the union from collecting its normal statutory levy.